Calving season is a very busy time of the year on any sheep farm. Being prepared is critical when striving for a problem-free lambing. With proper nutrition and care, you can have healthy ewes producing strong, vigorous lambs that they can feed from birth through weaning. In this segment, I will talk about steps to, on preparing your ewes for lambing, lambing facilities, lambing supplies, signs of labor, and care of the newborn. Feed quality affects fertility, reproduction, milk production, and overall flock health. Cutting corners on feed costs can result in lamb loss as poor fed ewes produce weak lambs and reduces milk production. As lambing season approaches, the ewes should be watched carefully. If you have adequate shelter, you may consider shearing or crutching your ewes three to four weeks prior to lambing. By shearing ahead of time, you can help increase the number of lambs saved as your ewes will come inside to lamb and fewer lambs will be injured or crushed by ewes in full fleece and there is less need for help to get those lambs to nurse. You should have your lambing barn prepared well in advance of lambing. The type of lambing facility you need will depend on the type of sheep operation you plan to manage. For winter and early spring lambing, have enclosed drop pens where ewes close to lambing are fed, bedded down, and watched closely. The ewes lamb in this area, and then they are moved into lambing jugs. In cold weather, ewes may need to be moved into an insulated lambing and jug area to prevent lamb losses from hypothermia. Have a basic lambing kit supply all ready before lambing. This may consist of a halter, pail, disinfectant scrub, lubricants, disposable gloves, a lamb snare, lamb pullers, towel, iodine for navels, ear tags, records for recording births, rubber bands for tail castration, ring applicator, stomach tube, syringe and needles, a weigh scale, vitamin minerals for injection, and a supply of frozen colostrum. Most ewes will lamb unassisted and care for their lambs, but assistance may be required. Watch for signs of a normal birth. The ewe often separates from the flock and starts to nest by piling the straw and often makes nickering sounds. A mucus plug will start to show. After two to three hours, there is an appearance of the amniotic sac or water bag. In another 30 to 60 minutes, a lamb's nose and front feet will appear. The ewe will have strong, steady contractions until the lamb is expelled. Multiples take approximately 20 to 30 minutes per lamb. If labor takes over one hour, be prepared and have lambing supplies ready for assistance. After birth, the ewe will lick and nuzzle the lamb and begin to bond. The lamb will start looking for the udder and start to nurse. The placenta is passed two to three hours after the last lamb is born. It is recommended to remove it from the pen and not let the ewe eat it as this can make her sick. Know the signs of a difficult birth. If there is no lamb visible after 45 minutes to one hour from the time the water bag has appeared or 30 minutes has passed and the lamb has not progressed, it's time to check out your ewe. Have the supplies ready and restrain your ewe with a halter. Wash the back end of your ewe, your arms and hands and cover with iodine or surgical scrub or use disposable gloves. Gently insert your hand using the lubricant to make it easier. Figure out the presentation and position of the lambs. Try to be gentle as possible to the ewe and the lambs. If there is more than one lamb coming at once, try to bring the most direct one first. You may need to push one back in to maneuver the first one out. Make sure you have the feet and head of the same lamb. If there is one head and only one foot, or no feet at all, try to push the lamb back in carefully. 
and then scoop one or both of the legs to, into place into the birth canal. Is there only a tail? Then this is a breech birth. You will need to push the lamb forward and grasp one of the rear legs and gently pull it into the birth canal, followed by the second leg. Be careful not to puncture the uterine lining with the toes. Pull the back legs in a steady downward curved motion until the lamb is out. Swing the lamb by its back legs to clear the airway or quickly clean off the nose and mouth. Is there feet and no head? If the head is back, you may need to place a lamb snare over the lamb's head after you've brought it around into the proper position. This helps to get the lamb out and keep the head from flipping backwards again. Is the lamb really big? If the head will not come through the pelvis, even with a snare, then it's probably a very big lamb. Contact your vet to consider a C-section. You will learn to know positions of lambs as you gain more experience. If you need help, call your veterinarian or an experienced neighborhood shepherd. Soon after birth, move the ewes with their lambs into lambing juts, which are small pens. These pens help keep the lambs safe with their mother until a strong bond has developed. It also gives the shepherd time to observe that the ewe has accepted her lambs, providing good milk, and all the lambs are healthy. This small pen makes it easier to check the U if there's any other problems. Lambing jugs can be constructed out of wood or metal, usually 4 by 5 feet for use with twins and larger pens for use with triplets or more lambs. 24 hours after birth, while in the jug, it is also an opportune time to ear tag the lamb, weigh it, castrate, and tail dock. This is also an excellent time to inject the lamb with vitamins and minerals if required in your area. Record the lamb's weight, vigor, gender, and overall health. You can also paint brand the lamb and the ewe so the pairs can easily be spotted. A noisy lamb is often a hungry lamb. If a newborn lamb does not look full with a nice round belly, immediately check and feel the udder and each quarter for milk. If a newborn less than 12 hours old has not nursed, it must be given colostrum by stomach tube or by bottle. Keep a bank of frozen colostrum in small containers in your chest freezer. If a ewe does not have enough milk for her lamb, try supplementing them for one to three days to see if milk production will increase. If she has twins or triplets and very little milk, remove one for fostering or to be put onto a bucket or bottle. Then watch to see if she can feed the remaining lamb. Record the use number and information on lambing ease, mothering, amount of milk, medical treatment, or need for culling. Have lamb milk replacer for supplementing poor doing lambs and be prepared for orphans. If the lamb is less than 12 hours old, feed the lamb with colostrum as newborns need as much colostrum as they will eat. Once they are over 12 hours, their intestines cannot absorb the antibodies from the colostrum and they can be fed milk replacer. When preparing milk replacer for your orphan lambs, it's very important to follow the directions on the milk replacer label. Keep all equipment as clean as possible and feed the milk chilled to prevent losses from bloat. All containers, bottles, pails and nipples must be kept clean to reduce the growth of bacteria, which is one of the major causes of bloat and death in lambs. In the orphan pen, provide fresh water, creep feed, and fresh leafy hay. By the time they are 7 to 10 days old, they will start nibbling at the feed and hay. It is recommended to wean orphans at 3 to 4 weeks of age, providing they have adapted well 
to eating the good quality creep feed. Ewes and lambs that are doing well are kept in jugs 24 to 48 hours for twins, an additional 24 hours or longer for triplets, small or sick lambs, or if there is poor weather. Then the ewes and lambs are moved into hardening pens for singles, twins, or triplets. Depending on the size of your hardening pens, four to 10 ewes and their lambs are provided with clean bedding, good shelter, room for creep feeders for the lambs, and feed and water for the ewes. Check the hardening pens frequently, watching for mismothering, starvation, lambs with navel or joint ill, scours or chilling. Watch for any sick ewes. These groups may be kept together in hardening pens for one to four weeks, depending on the weather, size of your flock, and type of sheep operation. Then they can be merged together with others of similar age and size and moved to larger paddocks or into pastures. There is a lot to learn in order to be prepared for your first lambing season. It's important to gain as much information and experience as you can. Visit successful sheep producers during their lambing season. See if you can help assist with their lambing. Experience assisting a ewe with lambing, getting a feel for a normal presentation. If possible, help assist a ewe having multiple lambs. Providing your ewes with proper nutrition, facilities, and having a well-supplied lambing kit, your lambing season can be successful and rewarding.